It all comes down to this. Hi everyone, today we're talking about the last episode of Outlander for this season, titled To Ransom a Man's Soul. I'm gonna start with Jamie and Blackjack. After the previous episode, I mean, we knew that it was just gonna get much, much worse for Jamie. And I think the worst part of it in this episode was in the opening scene when the camera shows you Jamie laying down and just his expression is so haunting. I mean, more than, you know, you see his hand, he's obviously bruised up, but I think the expression is what really affects you. Like, you're like, oh my God. And then it pans up and you see Blackjack and all you're thinking is like, oh my God, what happened? Like, I don't know if I wanna know. But you do know. Throughout the episode, you end up finding out what happened to Jamie and stars, man, they just went with it. And of course, performances are just, I don't even know, like, I think we should be talking about some awards here because f some of the most intense scenes ever. And I like that they didn't just drown us in it and they just kind of give us little drops throughout the episode. I think that was even more heartbreaking because every time you're thinking, oh my God, that's not even the worst. Like what else happened? What else happened? What more can he do? By the end of it, you're pretty much, so can we kill Black Dark now? Can he die? Like now? Because I'm done with him. I think he's done the worst that he's ever gonna do. And if he hasn't, then this is a messed up show. And while Blackjack didn't honor his word and pretty much just left Jamie there suffering, it's good for us because, you know, we didn't want him to die or anything, but that allowed the guys to come and rescue him with the cattle, which by the way, after this haunting moment, it was kind of comical to see the cattle kind of burst through the door and slam Blackjack on the floor. And I was like, yeah, it's not enough, but it's a start. So Murta's plan worked. But as I'm sure we were all worried, it's not really the physical wounds that concern me, but mostly the psychological effects and trauma of this. So they get to the monastery and Claire has to put Jamie's hand back and why do we need to see such close-ups of this? I mean, that was just, ugh. Oh, I could not watch that. Lots of things I couldn't watch in this episode, but that was just, ugh. But of course at this point I'm like, will she be able to heal everything else? Which leads to the most heartbreaking scene of the episode and that's the he broke me Claire moment where Jamie finally comes out and tells Claire why he wants to die so bad and it's just like, ugh. Kill me now. And going back to the Jamie and Blackjack moment, it's so twisted what Blackjack did. That's why I don't think there's more that he can do. I mean, he broke down Jamie. He did it. I mean, beyond killing him, there's nothing more he can do. This is it. He, he won at that point. And it's so heartbreaking to see Jamie thinking that Claire could never want to be with him or how can she want to be with him? And you get the breakthrough that we've been waiting for when finally Claire says that if he doesn't snap out of it or if he dies that she will die too because she can't live without him. Their love is meant to be and if he's not there then she sees no point in living pretty much at this point. I love that that's what really snaps him out of it because he's like, wait, what? He doesn't want her to die. He wants her to go and live a happier life with someone else because he thinks he's not worthy. But she's like, I won't live with someone else. I, I'm just gonna be with you or no one. And you know, so if you die, I die. And that's that's the point where everything switches. Cut to removing of the brand, which is such a huge sign that Jimmy is on the road to recovery. He's removing the mark of what has happened to him so that he can start and heal, not just physically, but also psychologically. And not only is Jamie on the road to recovery, they're actually going to France. New world, new life. And again, I like that we get a lighter moment at the end. We've had the really traumatic event. We went through it, we lived through it, we survived it. And now we are stronger. And they're certainly stronger as a couple, as people. 
and I think as tragic as it is, it definitely has forged a bond that is like nothing else. That's just a great way to move forward. And speaking of the lighter tone, I just love that Angus totally kissed Claire and just kind of grabbed her boob and it was just like, really? I mean, Angus, you gotta love him. This is the end of this chapter and we open the page to a new chapter and it seems like Claire and Jamie's mission is now to change the future. And she thinks that's why maybe she's been sent to the past. So they have a new mission, but they're also expecting a baby. What? And I think it's so great that after all the horrible things that happened to Jamie, this new life is about to come in their lives as they're going to their new life. It's kind of poetic in a way. And it certainly makes Jamie very happy, which... Oh. <laughs> nice to see because there were lots of tears while watching this episode. I really love the ending and while I did like the first part of the season better and then I also like the whole Gillis reveal, I feel like, and I've said this before, the last few episodes before the Wentworth prison was a little slow. I mean, I was just like, okay Outlander, let's get things moving. But it ended on a great note. And it's definitely making us look forward to season two and see what new adventures they get into. Those were my thoughts for the finale, but of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What did you think of the finale? What did you think of the season as a whole? Let me know in the comments. I also wanted to thank you guys for watching my reviews, commenting, liking, all of that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I had so much fun watching the show and talking about it with you. And while Outlander is done, I'm still reviewing Game of Thrones and I will be reviewing Teen Wolf this summer. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet so you don't miss that and other TV related videos we have on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye! One thing that I wanted to add is that I don't understand why Claire told the monk the whole truth about her being from the future and all that. Because I kept thinking, oh my god, he's gonna think you're a witch and you're gonna be back on trial like didn't you learn the first time? What are you doing, Claire? Why are you telling them? I mean, not everyone is like Jamie. The good news is... The monk actually seemed to be okay with what she was telling him. I think he actually believed her, so I was like, oh, but let's not start telling everyone, you know?